Hello, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to see the course app problem that is ORST. Okay. So in this problem, we are given two arrays. This A and B of size N and M such that BI is less than 1 to N. Okay. So sort the suffix of length BI in array A in non-decreasing order. Non-decreasing order that means the sorted order normal like 1, 2, 3 like that. Okay. So we need to return the result at array A after all operations. Okay. So let's see example for understanding. Okay, so we have this 5 and 1. M is 1. Okay. The array is 2, 3, 4, 6, 1. Right. <clears throat> so we have this bi. vi equal to 2 here. Yeah. This one. Okay. So we need to sort last two values. That will become 1 and 6. Remaining array will be the same. 2, 3, 4, then 1, 6. And this is the answer. Right. And let's see one more case. <clears throat> so if you uh, if you can see this case, five, seven, we have twelve, eleven, thirteen, and ten. Okay, this is the array. So first we need to sort last value. So it will be the same, right? Then these two, so it will be becomes 10 and 13. And then we need to sort four values from here to here. So what it will become? 10, 11, 12, and 13. Initially two values are 5 and 7. So array becomes this one. This is the your final array. So what you can do, <coughs> how can you approach this problem? So that, like just take the input B, okay. This is the input of your this array. And now you need to iterate, iterate from this. For you can say I, I in this B array. Okay, this is the B array. You have this this array, let it be called A and another one B. This is the values we have. Okay. So what you can do, you can sort directly do sorting. Sorting. Sorting from where? That A dot end, the last value. A dot end from which value? I comma a dot end you need to do swapping with this for all values of this in the array v you can get your answer right like uh, we have done one two four you will get your answer and you can print a as your answer for auto i in a and print all the values from that vector and you will get your answer so what what you can see, okay, here the time complexity is this one. N can be of size 10 cross 5, 10 to the power 5. So that is the case. So if you can see, like we are sorting the array n times 10 this 5. And the sorting of arrays and login. So it becomes time complexity of n square and login. This is the time complexity, and this is too big for this question. So we can't do that, right? For not doing that, if you can notice, if you can notice in this example. Okay. okay, so if you can notice in this example, we are sorting from back 
first value then first two then first four okay that means we like whenever we are sorting this value the four values this last one or two values they will be sorted anyway are you getting so these will be already sorted like if you sort this one the bigger value then it will be sorted already so what you need to do just take the maximum value from b maximum value from b just get it the maximum value and instead of doing this thing what you need to do instead of i you need to do that maximum value maximum value from b that's it maximum value from b and you need to do that and you can print your vector that's it that is your goal you can get your answer hope you understood this solution like this video subscribe the channel and keep coding